Welcome back to the Transport Bandit Channel. I'm Cheryl. I'm Jeff or Mr. Dimples. And we are just blown away. This is the weirdest place the bandits have ever run to. Bombay Beach on the eastern side of the Salton Sea, Southern California on Highway 111. We're not very far from Mexico. This place is gonna blow you away. It's weird and wacky. Now we are on the Salton Sea, which is a huge sea lake. Take a look at this. Do you see that we're out in the middle of the desert? And this is the Salton Sea, which stretches for miles. And this is the town of Bombay Beach. Now, first of all, first of all, this place is really cool, but it's weird. And I think that's the way they want it. So this video is gonna be a little different. It's mostly a tour of this oddity. The weirdest place the bandits have ever been to, right here, Bombay Beach, California, on the edge of a dead sea. The sea is salty. Now, what has happened to Bombay Beach is due to the toxicity of the salt, in 1980, this town was uh, pretty much abandoned. And now it's kind of been taken over by an artist type community. Like art community, hippies, homeless people. It's, it is incredible. It's incredibly you weird. Come with us if you're brave enough. Mr. Bones is gonna fit right into Bombay Beach. This is the lowest community in the United States, located 223 feet below sea level. All right, let's go explore Bombay Beach. Bombay Beach is located an hour southeast of Palm Springs, California, in the hottest and driest part of the Sonoran Desert. This is abandoned, whittled, rotted, town that has gone from an apocalyptic wasteland to an eccentric artist hub of a town. You can see here one of the last resort billboards when it was a town resort. It stands 227 feet below sea level on the southern terminus of the San Andreas Fault, which over millions of years carved out the desert basin lower than any point in North America outside of Death Valley. It also houses the lowest bar in the Western Hemisphere. The bar at the Skin Inn is covered in dollar bills and is the lowest bar in the Western Hemisphere. There's no gas station, no laundromat, and only a sparsely stocked convenience store. And the nearest hospital is 45 minutes away. Temperatures routinely reach 120 degrees in the summer. And when people don't have AC, they die. Most structures have rotted beyond definition, whittled by the salty winds and triple digit temperatures into a collection of splintered stumps. But the ruins aren't confined to the beach. A 30 year exodus from Bombay Beach left scores of discarded homes and trailers long since abandoned to the elements. But they're peppered throughout the surviving remains of the town, windowless husks blanketed in graffiti, surrounded by broken furniture and rubble. Bombay Beach has been in this state for decades, teetering on the edge of a ghost town status. When the streets empty out on scorching hot days, they offer little compelling evidence that this place even exists in the present tense. There's just a cell phone tower, the occasional no, no trespassing sign, and a pirate flag flying over one of the still functioning homes. 
But the perception of this place has changed since artists got a hold of the place. And one blighted home will now open up to reveal a Bombay Beach Opera House. A cerulean blue performance space displaying cardboard, piano, and hundreds of discarded flip-flops. Another small home has been reborn, the Toy House. Covered in vibrantly colored plastic toys that seem to grow on the surface like fungi. The effort by these artisans has brought a second life to the little zombie berg, and Bombay's barely on the grid residents are enjoying tourism renaissance. Part of Bombay Beach's allure is the irony. The thing that keeps it alive is the same thing that is still killing it. It is located on the edge of an ecological disaster, and yes, people from all over the world come a long way to see it. The rundown community sits on the eastern shore of the Salton Sea. We can go see the ghost boat and the metro station signs some creative people have planted on the world's crappiest beach. But like any desert mirage, things look less refreshing up close. The sea's brackish water takes on a murky brown cast. Beleaguered by bacterial blooms and subsequent health department warnings against swimming in this sea, Bones in various states of decomposition litter the beaches, revealing the sea's episodic history of bird deaths by the thousands, fish by the millions. The drastic ecological shifts might prompt sulfuric gases to burp from the lake bottom, unleashing a stench of death potent enough to occasionally carry all the way to Los Angeles, 120 miles away. But it wasn't always like this. A pair of billboards marking the entrance to Bombay Beach hint at the better times when the Salton Sea thrived as one of the greatest fishing holes in the country. It was billed as the next Riviera, attracting boaters, celebrities, and spectators sold on the novelty of beachfront property in the middle of the desert. That's a tour of the beautiful beachfront. Now let's go take a look around town. There's a prince that lives here and a scion of the Johnson & Johnson pharmaceutical empire. After a couple of independent filmmakers in their circle discovered that the Bombay ruins made an ideal location to shoot zombie movies. These beachfront lots can be purchased out of foreclosure for as little as $800. This spans over about 30 some odd blocks and have the people that live here have ultimately established themselves out here as part-time residents mingling at the ski inn and working through the fall and winter to produce a festival. Baptist Church of Bombay Beach. This is just weirdly crazy place. There's the nest. roof on that house. A bomb didn't hit Bombay Beach. Agricultural runoff did again and again. And it turns out even when things were looking good for the Salton Sea, they were looking bad. In 1957 detail through Sports Illustrated show in the late 1920s, an economic development minded Department of Wildlife used the state horse betting taxes to populate the marine lake with fish. Exciting enough to fish for sport, striped bass, salmon, pompano, halibut, but none of them took. And finally, after 28 years of this, Orange Mouth Corvina from the Sea of Cortez offered the means to capitalize on the accidental lake. The Corvina quickly mo multiplied to millions, growing up to 30 pounds, and Sports Illustrated rightly projected that the Salton Sea would become an angler's dream. 
Throughout the 1960s, sport fishers averaged nearly two fish per hour. They barely even needed bait. Seabirds joined in the bounty, altering migratory patterns to feast on the other fish that soon joined the budding e ecosystem. Bombay Beach flourished, and guys like Frank Sinatra and Sonny Bono sang its praises. Weekenders out of Los Angeles and San Diego started coming so frequently they bought properties to keep their boats here full time. But great fishing wasn't the Sports Illustrated story's only accurate prediction about the salty lake. The rate of salinity, salt water, will increase steadily. Scientists estimate that if this rate continues, the sea will provide up to 25 years of fishing before it becomes too salty to support fish life. The Salton Sea has no outlet. Salt-laden irrigation waste water still trickles in, but water can only leave by evaporation, which means salt levels always trend up. When Bombay Beach opened for business, salinity measured around 38 parts per thousand, roughly the same as ocean water. But now it measures over 60. The early fish and bird deaths could be attributed to fertilizer and toxins in the agricultural runoff feeding the lake. But since 2003, the hypersalinity has exterminated the lake's roughly three dozen species of fish and the birds have stopped coming altogether. lowest bar in the western hemisphere the ski in world famous bombay beach bar Well, what did you think of Bombay Beach? Wasn't that awesome? 
After a brief stop inside the lowest bar in the Western Hemisphere, we are going to travel on from Bombay Beach. We're going to keep traveling south on 111. We're going to take you to Slab City. It's the last lawless town in America. Perfect place for the bandits. enjoyed that little tour of Bombay Beach that was one of the craziest places we've ever been crazy crazy place and very now, bandity on the next video we're taking you to one of the most dangerous places the last lawless town in America very if you want bandity. to see that subscribe like this video comment down below share it over to your Facebook and stay tuned for Slab City coming up next, the last lawless town in America. This has got to be good. That's it for us. I'm Cheryl. This is Jeff, Mr. Dimples. We're the Transport Bandits out in the Sonoran Desert of California exploring these wild, freaky, crazy places. And we're getting ready to say what we always say, but I hope it's not for the last time. Transport Bandits, out. out.